Hello YouTubers, this is CD Mangaka here, and today I'm bringing you a little uh, special kind of video featurette deal. This is a uh, double perspective view on a game of Sabotage. Um, the player, the screen I should say, in the upper left corner is uh, me, that's my naval line there. And then the player on the bottom right corner is actually Frank Ogini, playing my party. And we both did it pretty well in this uh, quick game of Sabotage, so... Uh, I want to record his perspective, and I didn't just want to, like, you know, show mine and show you his. Uh, so I'm going to show you both of our points of view at the same time. Frank goes up being, I'm pushing up into the middle of the map, and he starts grenades. And meanwhile, I'm trying to flank around. I, I run into about three guys right there, and I somehow come out, out of that situation alive. So, um, this kind of shows the difference. I'm, I'm flanking, and I'm, uh, look how deep into the enemy spawn I already am. My whole team is kind of, in Franco, they're all in the war room. Meanwhile, I have the bomb, and I'm already up in the enemy spawn. Uh, that's just because I flanked. I actually got a couple guys up there in the spawn with me. Um, a Franco and I are both running, uh, AK-74Us. He's got a Warlord class. He's using the grip and extended mags. Uh, I'm using sleight of hand on mine, uh, with the grip attachment. Uh, best submachine gun in the game. It's something that we're both just comfortable using. Um, and, uh... Well, it just gets a lot of hate for being the best gun. I mean, you know, everything gets hate one way or another and because it works and because, you know, noobs can do it. But, I mean, we didn't do this well because of our guns. We did this well because we know, well, because, you know, it's me and Franco. So, I think Franco got pack knife in the right-hand corner as I kill myself by running through my own napalm. That's just, you know, less than professional. Uh, where combat, and then he calls in his napalm. Um, on the bomb side as well. And we're both using tactical insurgents. We, we've, um, our whole team started to use those in sabotage as they just really do help you get into the enemy's base. Anyway, so I'm flicking around the side here, and I'm, uh, my whole goal is just to get set up in this enemy spawn, try and I'm, um, just maintain a presence there, get a lockdown, and so we can finally get bomb plant off. Like, I think the enemy took their our bomb uh, down away, so I get shot in the back, and I'm flanking right here. I'm just hip-firing, and I barely get this ghost guy to last of my clip. And then another guy comes after me, and we slowly finish him up right there, luckily. And then, so we're going to flip over to Franco. He's in more room. He's being way conservative. I mean, you know, he's just looking for any enemy that he can pick off, trying to build up a, a small kill streak just on um, and get napalm or something on the bomb. Just being very conservative, trying to, you know, get the best opportunity for, you know, getting a high score with um, a lot of kills and a few deaths. I, I die right there because the enemy had crates and cover, and Franco just flanks it from the side. He gets a triple spray. He's in max for the win. And I'm actually spawning right here, and... Uh, there's Franco in the same corner that I was. See, my, he's moving along. I just barely sit down my tactical insertion. We're getting the bomb set up. He's got another napalm on the bomb, and so he's going to be um, hanging away from the napalm. He's a little more aware than I am as far as, you know, hiding from his own napalm goes. He gets dropped right there, though. Same situation. Uh, enemy just had more cover than he did. Uh, Anyway, so uh, coming up here in a moment, it's going to be a little situation where it's just a bit of awareness. If you listen closely, it's going to, right about here, Franco's chasing this ghost guy, bottom right corner of the screen, and um, uh, he starts shooting at me. So now we got a new screen on the bottom left corner. This is the situation from a different perspective. If you hear, you can just barely hear that uh, my tactical insertion was destroyed. I remember where my tactical insertion was, so I'm going to throw a nade over there, assume the guy's still over there, and it gets me a grenade kill. So uh, I thought I should show you guys that. Anyways, uh, let me know if you like this video. Let me know if... Um, you just kind of like the way I presented it, or if it's a little disorienting at times, uh, just give me some feedback on it, you know, be sure to leave a like rating if you did like it, and um, just leave back some feedback.